morning. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and under the ages of ages. Amen. I have just finished watching some videos uh, concerning the discovery of Noah's Ark over in Armenia, um, in the mountain in Uratu. Uh, you know, uh, there's people putting on videos out where they will not, refuse to believe that the ark, the, the boat formation that was found over in Armenia, is, they refuse to believe that that could be any, have anything to do with Noah. So they've gone off and they've claim to have discovered the ark themselves and they show these rooms that you can walk into and you know, you know what what a bunch of liars uh they did to show you how sophisticated the ark was um they brought in many scientists even scient a scientist from the los almos laboratory and even uh when they did ground ground penetrating radar on it when they found a grid work of iron uh, which uh is apparent that they are fasteners for joyce and the ark they found it all perfectly laid out and, and it's uh exactly to the to the very length of 300 egyptian cubits and of course the point is that uh, they didn't come up with the hebrew cubit until after there was a nation in israel so uh moses who was the author of the the, the torah um gave the measurement of the ark to 300 cubits well you know that turned out to be to the very letter uh in feet when you convert the, the 300 cubits into feet, it turned out to be exactly the right size. And uh, now they've uh, gotten some kind of uh, infrared scanners that can actually uh, scan into the ground. I'm not, I can't remember if it's infrared or what it is, but uh, it shows the colors, uh, uh, different colors of the rainbow for uh, like for for the, the rooms and, you know, and the partitions and everything else, they show up in different colors. And uh, they have, have since scanned depth deep into the ground it goes quite a ways into the ground something like 30 feet um and of course now another point is that the uh, the iron brackets they're calling the brackets um are nowhere to be found outside of the formation um, and then they found rivets hundreds and hundreds of rivets and uh big ri rivets the size of your fist even uh, and when they sent them off to los alamos lab uh, they were discovered to have a a, a it was a sophisticated alloy of aluminum, iron, and, and uh, copper, and titanium, and manganese. Now, according to our modern technology, we have we do not have the knowledge of how to produce a metal alloy that way. Because uh, number one is that uh, iron is melt melted out of rocks in a blast furnace, and titanium and aluminum come out of the rocks through electrical current. So how they manage to uh, combine them two into uh, into one element or into one uh, alloy uh, is is puzzle puzzles them. Well, you know, I have a, my own theory about that. Um, since iron is melted out of rocks and titanium and aluminum are, are melted through and brought out of the rocks and out of the ore through electrical current, um, you have your molten iron, uh, which and then you add your, your your other metals to it, and then you um, you subject that molten mass with the aluminum and the titanium together with it, mix it together to, to an electrical current along with the fire. And the electricity uh, perhaps could melt the aluminum and the, and the titanium into a liquid so that they could be, be blended into a mixture. And that's how, how we end up with that, that kind of an alloy. Well, anyway, they found hundreds of them um, all over the place. And they also found petrified slabs of laminated wood um, that were glued together by pitch or bitumen. Um, so, I mean, go on, go online, go to YouTube and type in Ron Wyatt's discovery of Noah's Ark and uh, see for yourself. I mean, there's people out here trying to, uh, they're so mean spirited and, and so hateful towards the ones who have discovered it and got such a jealous spirit toward the people that have discovered these things, that they're willing to make lies and fabrications. Well, you know that the Lord will judge the liars. The Lord will judge all the liars and he'll judge all the, also those who are truthful. So you can't, uh, you can't lie to God. You know, uh, we, there's a story in the book of Luke where uh, this couple uh, sold the property and they tried lying to God. They tried lying to God, the Holy Spirit. And St. Peter says, why did you uh, conspire to lie to the Holy Spirit? You're not trying to, you're not deceiving men. You're deceiving the Holy Spirit of God. And you can't deceive the Holy Spirit of God. That's like, that's like an, an insult to the Holy Spirit. 
So anyway, uh, Noah's Ark is right there, just like what they said, just like what Ron Wyatt had found. Uh, you can go right online and check it out on, if you wish. And there's all kinds of supplementary videos on YouTube concerning the, the, all the latest scans or the latest state-of-the-art equipment of that site. And you be the judge yourself. Don't say, well, I don't believe it because so-and-so don't. Because maybe sometimes that person's got a bad attitude and they don't want to accept. And the ego won't let them accept that somebody else came onto the truth instead of them. So... So why don't you say, uh, last, you know, last night I got to playing this wonderful guitar that the Lord gave me. Um, and I said, this guitar has got a voice. And I, I was going to use my flat pick again. Um, there it is. Not sure what. Uh, back in the day, we used to buy these same type of picks, but it was made by a company called Herco. This is a uh, Dunlop pick. Yeah, I never even heard of it before. But I bought it down to the music store. But I said, uh, this wonderful guitar has a voice. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and try to play some, a few notes of the Taranta style of uh, flamenco this morning with the flat peg. So give me, uh, just be patient with, with me and bear with me while I tune this thing up. strengthen me this morning. Thank you. 